now we are going to show you how to use multiple sessions of GibbsCam. In a past session, I showed how to use stored processes effectively. Now I am going to show you how to do something like that, only in this case, it is different and a little more intuitive. Let's make a multiple process operation. I'm going to double click on the pocketing operation to put it up in the process list and I will remove the existing contour process which we made in the previous session. Now I'm going to add a finishing process to this pocketing process. I will drag the finishing tool down and the contouring process tile and this is the process information. It all looks good. Now to complete this, I would like to break the sharp corners at the top. So I'm going to add a chamfer process to this. First I will create a countersink tool, 0.5 diameter, 90 degrees, 4 flutes, 0.125 flat, and extend out 1.25. Now I will add it to the process list and put a contour process on top. Change the stock to minus 0 0.030. Change the cut depth to minus 0.1. OK, that should be good. Now I will select the shape, highlight the old roughing process, and hit the redo it button. That is the process which I want to use and keep using. This is what we can do. First, quickly and easily, we can do what we did before and make this into a process, like this. Process, save, I'll call it 0.25 deep finished pocket with chamfer. Now we can use it all the time. But here is what I was talking about. Let's fire up another session of Gibbs Cam. I will arrange them both on my screen so that they are beside each other. Now I will create a new program and I will call it PM103-22. The material is all ready to size. Let me show you what you can do. I can literally copy anything I want from one program to the other. So I will click the shape that I would like to copy. Now I will go edit, copy and click here. Edit, paste. On this side, I want to create a shape, for example, a hexagon, and a smaller hexagon like this. Select Polygon. I will place it at X5, Y4.5, with a distance to flat of 1.5, and now a smaller one with a distance to flat of 0.5. Let's say that we wanted to pocket this out and leave the island there. We can now go back to this session. Select all of the tiles here. Now hit the copy button. Now we go to this session. Open the tool list and the machining palette and click in the process area with your mouse. Now we go Edit, Paste. The tools come in. The processes come in. Now just click all of the shapes. And that is how Cut, Copy and Paste works intuitively inside of Gibbs Cam. Apply the toolpath to both of these shapes. And we are done.